search in the landfill has been going on for over a month now. There are more than 100 people working this case, including FBI agents from across the country who are specifically trained in searching landfills for bodies just like in this case. Mm, it is just tragic. Brett, there's been no arrests. There have been no charges. Is the mom the prime suspect? What do police say? Absolutely, she is. She's the only suspect police have named so far. And there are a lot of people who are asking, you know, we are over a month into the six weeks into the search since this little boy was last seen on October 5th. There's so many people who want to know you've named a suspect here, but why hasn't she been arrested? Why hasn't she been charged with anything? Police tell us they're working on building a case. They don't want to prematurely charge anyone in this case because the police chief told me when they make those charges, when they file those charges, they want to make sure they stick. So where is mom now and does she have custody of any other children? We know she has three children total. The grandmother, Billy Joe Howell, has custody of two of the children. We're not sure about the third one. We've learned from the courts uh, that they did have to go to a custody hearing shortly after uh, this story broke. But we're not, we're not sure we, we, we understand that the court system here, the DFACS in Georgia, the Department of Family and Children's Services, has removed the children from this home, the Quentin's older brother and younger sister. But the mother ha has been free to roam. We saw in the story that we saw her out at the beach uh, one night. There was one point during this a couple of weeks ago where there were protesters in front of the home. This mother, this grandmother, uh, one of the brothers, Quentin's uncle, and friends were sitting out across the street from the protesters chanting back at them. Mm. You know, we focused a lot on the mom and, and the talk of what she had to do with Quentin's death, but I know you've also been trying to reach out to her boyfriend, and his name was mentioned in the piece, Daniel Yunkin. Where is he now, and what do we know about his possible involvement? Daniel Duncan was the last person to see Quentin Simon, according to police. He left the home around 6 a.m. on October 5th. He was going to work. That's the story that this family told the police, and then the police told us. We know that Daniel Duncan has packed up and left town. The last place, the only known address we have for him, is in Dunn, North Carolina. That's just outside of Raleigh. We sent our crew from the News Nation affiliate there to knock on his door. There were cars out front, but he wasn't home. We do know that he's been arrested at least twice there before. Uh, but so far, since October 5th, we haven't seen Daniel Yunkin. Hmm. Another development in this case, Brett, that caught my attention as I was looking through some of your reports, the grandfather, the father of Quentin's biological dad, was killed in a hit and run recently. Is that related at all to this case? What do you know? Police haven't, they, they, the last we've heard from the detectives, that's in Burke County. It's about 90 miles north, uh, northwest of Savannah. The last thing we heard is that investigators there are still hoping that someone will give them a tip. They're still looking for the driver involved in that hit and run. But just the tragedy around Quentin Simon's biological father. He lost his son, obviously. Police believe the little boy's dead in, a dump, uh, in the dump. He also lost his mother just a few weeks ago. In fact, a week before he lost his dad, his mom died. And then his dad had a flat tire on the side of the road, according to the deputies there, and was walking back towards his house when he was hit and killed by a car. Police haven't relinked that case to this case, uh, but certainly tragedy just all around for Quentin's father. Hmm. Has anybody been arrested in the hit and run? Absolutely not. We just checked with deputies there last week. They haven't made any developments in this. They're still asking in Burke County if you have any information uh, about the death of this man. The, the car left the scene. They found the guy laying in the middle of a rural highway, and they don't have a lot of evidence to go on as they look for leads. Wow, just a big dark cloud hanging over this family. And as we look at these images of Quentin on the screen, it is just so heartbreaking to think what may have happened to him. And then we see this landfill search. It's been going on since October 18th. Do police believe that they will find him there? What is the likelihood and how long will they continue to search? Listen, it's very difficult. We know in searches like this, I'm sure you've covered them before, it's very difficult if you're not there in just the days after this. If there's not some key piece of evidence that takes you right to that landfill, trash continues to come in. The police have told us that they knew it was going to be difficult when they started this landfill search to find anything. But the police chief says that his officers and this team from the FBI, now the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, joining that search just this week, they all say they are very devoted to continue until they find Quentin's remains. It's not just so they have that key piece of evidence in this case, but it's also so they can take this 20-month-old little boy and give him a proper 
final resting place. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.